Hello, I'm Michele, and today I want to show you how to create and test an Android virtual, virtual device uh, using Unbox Cloud Dashboard. Uh, so we, in order to do that, we will see basically the full life cycle for uh, an application, which is an entity in Unbox Cloud that encapsulates 100 APK and manages it within uh, the Unbox Cloud cluster. This is the applications page of Unbox Cloud Dashboard. If you want to know more about the applications, you can click here on this box link and uh, it will basically give me all the details about applications. Uh, we will keep this uh, video as practical as possible. So let's jump in and create our application. We click on this button. We give a name to our application. Uh, we can select some uh, configuration options. For example, if we want to create the application in a container, the base Android image, uh, the resources, the APK. In this case, we will use the model list APK. Uh, and again, here there is a docs link that will tell you more about how to create an application. So you can definitely have a look here if you want more details. Uh, we have like this section for mm, some more uh, configuration options. For example, we can give a name, a mesh name, uh, which we will use for demo. Um, the boot packaging in this case is uh, derived from the APK, so it will be the one that we selected here. If we don't select an APK, because it's not mandatory to select an APK, we can customize the boot package and select uh, one of the existing uh, packages uh, or pre-installed in the uh, Unbox Cloud uh, in the Android operating system, uh, basically. Um, and then we can always customize, when we specify boot package, we can always customize the boot activity so that if that package has more than one activity, you can specify which activity should boot. Uh, you can set some tags for your uh, application. You can choose Unbox features. Again, if you click here, you will have all the details about the available Unbox features. Um, you can disable the automatic updates or disable the watchdog, uh, which basically uh, prevents other packages to run, except the one that you are selecting as boot package. Uh, you can set the whitelist of allowed packages. And finally, uh, in case the guided form doesn't give you all the configuration options that you want, you can switch to the customized manifest.yaml view which is basically a more advanced view. And if you click here on this link, you, you can see all the things that you can customize uh, with the YAML editor. Okay, in our case, let's keep things simple. So let's create our application from the Uh We just need to wait a few seconds because like in this case, it will be pretty quick. The APK was uh, pretty small. So now you can see that our to-do list application was added to the table and it's in the initializing status. Uh, let's click on the application name to open the deleted page for our application. Um, as we can see, like we have actions here, but we cannot uh, create an instance now because the application needs to be ready and it also needs to be ready in order to edit the instance. So let's wait just a few seconds so that it becomes ready. And in the meantime, we can have a look at what, what is visible from this detail page. There are three sections uh, that basically just show you um, some information about the application, like the boot package. As I mentioned before, it was inferred from the APK that we uploaded. Uh, the parent image, uh, which is a link, so it links to the uh, detail page of that image. And, and some other information uh, that we also specified during the um, application creation. Now the application is ready, so we can edit it. Let's click here. As you can see, like some fields are disabled, they cannot be edited, but we can, for example, change the uh, base Android image. We can change the, the resources. We can even upload them in APK if we have one. In our case, we don't have one, so we are not, uh, um, adding a new APK, we can set a new uh, version name. And this is one, field, one of the fields that, well, when changing, will trigger the creation of a new application version. 
Uh, okay, yeah, everything else is like, uh, as we saw already in the creation form, included the customized manifest.yaml view. That you can always trigger, uh, you can always toggle if you want to have a more advanced uh, custom customization view. Let's uh, just click update, wait a few seconds. And now we landed on the versions tab of the DTEC page for our to-do list application. From here, we can see a list of versions. As you can see, we have just created a new one that is now initializing. And it's the one with the changes that we have just made. The name is demo updated. Uh, it's version number one. The initial one, which was called demo, is version number zero. And it was already active. Um, if we click like here, we can see that a, a side panel opens with more information about uh, a specific application version. Okay, now both are active. Uh, let's uh, see how to stream uh, this application. In order to stream the application, we need to create an instance. So we click here and clicking here from the context of the application detail page, we pre-select uh, some of the fields of the instance creation form. So the instance will be created from an application and specifically from our application. But let's maybe change the session to use the first one because I'm not sure I can actually have all the resources that I set for the second version. So let's give it a name. And just to show you, a streaming is enabled by default. So we don't need to do anything. I just want to show you that it's here in this capabilities section. We will not see all the uh, customization options that you have for instance creation in this video. So let's just go ahead and create and start our um, instance. So now you see that the instance is being created and started. And now uh, it's a success. It was created and started. We cannot stream it yet because it needs to be running uh, in order to be streamed. But it will be pretty quick. So if we just wait a few seconds more, you will see that it is now running. Okay, so we click here and this will stream the application. Uh, okay, so here, this is basically our Android virtual device. Uh, so we can interact with the stream. So now we see that I have touched on uh, some points and this will, some coordinates. And this will basically uh, send the, the touch event to do the Android instance. Okay, so what we can do in the stream page of our application, um, uh, we have many options, many actions available here in the header. Um, like for example, if this was uh, a, a maps application, you can like click set location and you can accept the, you need to accept the OpenStreetMaps terms of service. And then you will be able to select a location anywhere in the world and send the location update. And if there was like a map application now, you would have seen uh, your like map application showing exactly this place like uh, localized. Um, okay, uh, let's close this panel and let's see something else. Uh, you can see the statistics like the, uh, the um, web RTC uh, statistics of your stream and you can even click here to have like a more like detailed um, uh, view of the statistics when graphs and some of them from time to time when we turn red meaning that there is like some uh, value that is outside the expected range for that specific um, uh, well, in this case for the audio jitter. Uh, okay, uh, so these are the statistics. You can then set uh, ADB uh, access for which, um, which requires using the Unbox Connect Snap, uh, which we see in more detail in another video. And you can also set your stream to be uh, shared, like publicly accessible, basically. Uh, you can share, uh, you can set a link that you let's stream title and this will be we have a, a an expiration date let's set it up and basically with this link like of course it will not be publicly accessible because it's running on my local host 
But for your Unbox Cloud instance, you will basically uh, generate a public link that you can share uh, with anyone and they will be able to, let's see how this looks like in practice. It's like this. So they will see this view and they can like go full screen and yeah, so it's a nice way to share your Unbox stream. Um, okay. Uh, and then finally, one last thing I want to say very quickly about the um, stream page is that you can also open developer tools. You can have like uh, terminal access for, for Ubuntu and Android. And you can see logs. Uh, so for example, the log count or this is log. Uh, so that's, that's also something that we would see in more detail in another video. Okay, uh, now that we have seen how this stream page looks like, um, let's go back to the instance uh, page and let's see what, we, what else we can do. We can stop our instance, which is now running. Let's do that. And we can also delete. So now we will do a bit of cleanup and we will delete the uh, the the instance, which is now stopped. So let's delete it. You don't need to stop it. So you can also delete it while it's running. Okay, so the instance was deleted and let's do the same for our application that we have created. And you can see that it was deleted as well. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you today. And yeah, have fun with Unbox applications. Mm -hmm.